Have you ever been racing in it? And the answer is, you can let go of the steering wheel, it's boom for the road. At least I'm in the garage, better than being in the pub. <laughs> right, we're off on a little bit of an adventure. So, the Hurleyman, you're going in a little bit of doctoring. I think it's the oil pump or the hydraulic pump or whatever is uh, not working. So that's coming in, but Dad's picking me up in something really, really cool. Service big wires. I told you he was picking me up in something special. And it stopped. It's fancy. Have you seen this before? Did you see our new tie? 27 years I've had this. Nearly run in. Oh, let the old man get out. It's filthy. Just come back from Scotland, did it? We just done a thousand miles in Scotland last not last week, the week before. And yeah, never never flinched. Fantastic. It should have been fuel injected. They came fuel injected, but this was an upgrade because the fuel injections, those Lucas fuel injections weren't particularly good. So this was on the car when I bought it. What sort of engines are? Two and a half litre straight six, the old Vanguard engine. <laughs> <laughs> so, I have dropped the Hurleyman off because it needs a little bit of repair. So, I just picked me up in something that some of you may know was here, or some of you may not, not know it was here. So, this is Dad's favourite thing. He loves this more than me. <laughs> We're going to get home and then we'll have a good talk about we'll it. We'll have a chat about it. Yeah. So, this is Dad's TR. TR. Today is not my video, it is a ginger guy with the moustache. It's his video. You'll see we've been picked up by himself in the TR5. The TR5, that is a Triumph TR5. This is Dad's first love. He has just come back from a trip and he was like, should we do a video? I was like, amazing, let's do a video on it. Like two birds with one stone, drop the tractor off and he picked me up with his TR5. Dad, a little bit of a story on it. Yeah, we had a good trip to Scotland. We did a thousand mile road trip a couple of weeks ago, 10 days ago with my wife. Had an absolutely fantastic trip. Here we go. Yeah, the car was good. <laughs> British built TR, proper uh, English TR, one of only 1100 and odd made, and of 1200 pound new, 1250 pound new or thereabouts. And then hey, when I was very young though, so what, 27 years ago, did you say? 27 years ago, this car was bought, but since then we've worked on it and worked on it and changed bits. We'll go through in the yard when we get back. But it's made a very drivable car. Loads of torque with the engine. We can slow right down. We're in top gear now. There's no one behind us. We're in top gear. The engine revs are down to literally over, isn't it, Tom? I'm yeah. Foot on nothing. He's ticking over and pulling the car. Can we accelerate from tick over in top gear? Just feather it in. Feather it in. Here we go. It's a very torquey engine, as well as the top ends. A bit of power with it now. Five speed. Five speed. It's Six speed gearbox, six speed gearbox uh, with overdrive on three and four. It's not the gearbox that came with the car. The car should have had a seven speed gearbox if it had overdrive. That gave overdrive on second, third and fourth, but it's a little unnecessary that. And this is off a later model and it's got a bigger shaft, in, a bigger lay shaft. So it's better on the, uh, here we go, let's give it a bit. through the corners with this car because it doesn't like breaking on corners. Here we go. Let me get away again. Audio. Bit of dead the woods and good. Harry's garage has got nothing on you, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Harry's garage is incredible, by the way. Oh, yeah. um, super... Harry's farm, and you kind of go into Harry's yeah. garage, you're like, oh my god, it just gets better. <laughs> it's good, it's some good toys, Harry. Uh, this is yours, isn't it? It's my toy, yeah. One of, one of my toys. And this, and now we're in top, straight top, doing 50 miles an hour, back the old drive in, and we're like doing 2,000 revs, and we're doing 50, 54 miles an hour, and we're doing. Speedo takes a bit of time to catch up.
I couldn't keep up with the job. <laughs> <laughs> right, we'll have a catch up in a minute. We've just got a couple of uh, things to sort. Far farming jobs. They haven't made many of these, this is a proper English TR5 and when I bought it, and Tom will show you some pictures uh, well, through the video of when we started putting it back together they had two to choose from, one was newer than this, a G wedge, but this was F wedge and the reason why I bought it, over and above, it looked half done from 500F, TR5 with a 500F registration and when you people in the TRs there's 300F, there's 400F, 600, there's a 900F they were kept all the hundreds for the special ones when he could in those days this is 500F I thought TR5, 500F that's the one for me and it wasn't blue by the way and it's filthy at the moment this is dad's pride and joy to the point where he has pajamas for it he has everything for this yeah. uh, and like you say you built it from a shell pretty yes, much yes uh, yeah we've got we've got pictures to show him but if someone had done it once and was doing it again so the metal was good because he'd been protected by other people doing it it was originally white someone painted it damson and i painted it blue but we took every panel off and everything too there's two great things about this car now we'll go through some of the bits i've done over the years the best things are my brake i put ap racing calipers with four four caliper brakes on four pot calipers they call them with cross drilled ventilated discs cross ventilated discs both front side and at the back we put aluminium drums and the thin to cool the brakes so it stops with modern traffic so that's the best thing so you can always drive a car faster if you can stop it so it makes it a faster car without having to go fast if that makes sense the next best thing when you've done a thousand miles in this in four days is the seats mx5 seats with runners to fit this car superb brake position and everything they were so comfortable plus a little bit more bolster there and you, they hold you better when you're giving it a little bit we'll just show you under the bonnet because this is where the action is got old triumph hinges for the front so when if it does get hot i just pull that so the hot air gets out but under the bonnet here we have the straight six fuel injected when they were made these fuel injected this was put on before i bought the car it's a british leyland's part now 2500 s's triumphs and twin su's works perfectly well very reliable dead simple and uh, why go to all that trouble with the fuel injection rebuilt the engine spent a lot of time on the engine we made a few we put it back together and it was leaking down the valve guy the oil seals on the valve guys so the head came off again and uh, we ended up putting Cosworth valve guides and oil seals on but again the mechanics although were thinner shorter so it made us having to reject the carbs again because we could get more fuel in so we're getting the performance of the fuel injection without the problems of the fuel injection and on the other side we've no fan with no mechanical fan on the car saves a little bit of power saves a bit on the balance but we have an electric fan in front of the radiator bit of a cowl there to force the air through the radiator when you're driving forward so it's getting the maximum amount of air it doesn't need a fan unless you're stuck in traffic then the electric fan comes in with a six branch extractor manifold three cylinders are fed by one carburetor and three cylinders are fed by the other carburetor and at the back they don't have a balance box they don't have anything one single uh, silencer there's two different systems so you can put your emission control sensor in one set your carb up put your one in the other set your carb up and you can get them dead even so it runs very very sweetly it's a very balanced engine plus the work on the head plus a decent camshaft it's got a lot of power loads of torque loads of power great fun to drive and she's what 56 years old something like that the mac team was very impressed at how clean it was inside as well uh, it's filthy at the moment because it needs a clean it's just come back for a thousand miles and i've not cleaned it so it is filthy and she starts well i mean tom's been in it today yeah. she roars she's a great little old car chassis is as solid as they come in fact we we did some repairs on it and uh, we over over welded the chassis we put extra bits on to make it strong at the weak point not an original gearbox for the car it's an uh, it's a j type for those aficionados instead of an a type which gave you overdrive on second third and fourth but they found the torque in these engines especially if you've done a bit to them didn't actually was deteriorated made the overdrive gearbox fail earlier the lay shafts and the shafts weren't big enough so this is a gearbox out of a 2500s it's one of the latest ones 
1978 model so it's got a bigger shafts in and a slightly higher top gear so it'll do 27 and a half miles an hour in top gear per thousand revs against 26 25 all helps with the fuel consumption little bits like that but six speeds fine enough overdrive third overdrive fourth and she she really does motor well i bought it when i was 38 so that makes it 27 years ago yeah 38 when i was 38. three hey because i always wanted a tr I, I love the engine i love the two and a half liter uh pi engine fuel injection engine and we're looking at tr4s and 4a comfier chassis but they have the problems with the chassis which has been eliminated this was a 1962 well 64 design chassis tr4a came out about 1964 and until they built i love the engine and i love the shape it's a softer shape it's a rounded shape it's instead of the square chiseled shape of the tr6 this is to me is like it's a female shape it's softer it's got curves it shows <laughs> it's got love whereas your tr6 is fantastic car same engine but it's cut off it's chiseled it's there purposefully manly yeah. whereas this is a little bit softer elegant that engine it's got the beauty and it's got the better engine and this is an early tr5 engine which when they have built this longer throw to get from a two litre to two and a half litre they cross drilled the cranks so there's a better oil flow to the big end bearings and so that has got that in and the racing boys if you got one always look for the early ones with a cross drilled crank that is what it is so it's got benefits and yes the performance isn't up to modern standards in certain aspects but the brakes are and who can do at silly speeds these days on the roads you want comfort you want reliability and you want something that gives a bit of class this ticked all the boxes for me have you ever been racing in it i've done myra i've done millbrook i've been on silverstone more than once twice and the answer is yes i've gone as fast as i can at myra and millbrook i've had it up to 120 miles an hour and it was still pulling still pulling no problems 120 and by that time you are twitching <laughs> that 120 miles an hour you're brave if you can keep going with your wife next to you well uh, my wife was next to me and we were on the banking of myra and we we're doing 120 as you go faster and faster you go up the banking and you get it balanced because it's a bowl you can it's like the uh, wall of death you can let go of the steering wheel it still goes around in the same direction <laughs> if it's balanced and it was and yeah it was really really good so yeah we've done 120 in a, on the tracks myra was the one with the fantastic test track there and we had the miles straight and all sorts and yeah it was really good so she will i've never had it if it was still pulling i wouldn't know what it'll do yeah. overdrive top it was revving hard she was nearly up to six thousand revs in direct top but i then got overdrive gearbox then i'd have loved to be able to slip into overdrive and see just how much more it would give because the cam we have fitted would give power up to six and a half thousand if you had them you're brave. brave and also if it goes bang it's a big rebuild this is you little me little mike dad little you well, that's the first time we ever drove it when we got back you were sat in the milk crate and i was sat on the floor of the car <laughs> and there was no bonnet on it we'd just done the brakes different tires different wheels but we wanted to see if it'll go it went forward and it braked it stopped my sisters rubbing doing the wheels cleaning the wheels for me so when dad goes on these tours he always has those photos with yeah. him how long did it take you to rebuild it we had we bought it in like the july august one year and had it running a year one christmas the following christmas had it running so within 16 months 18 months we had it running and by april we had it on the road with less than two years from coming in the yard to driving out taxed insured boom for the road less you than two said years. every day you had done something yeah for on. one year every day besides christmas day i did something on it even if it was only look something up buy the next part go in the garage no internet then though was it no 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 no, no. Really phone pick up with three dealers phone do something at it sometimes you do an hour at night then be two hours behind for the following day it was very frustrating at times i did get a bit of grief as you do you spend more time in your garage than you do with me so <laughs> at least i'm in the garage better than being in the pub <laughs> yeah i put a lot of time and effort and a fair amount of money into it but it's still developing last year we did the seats yeah. last year which was fantastic this year the seats were nothing wrong with the seats had them recovered the old seats were great but they were old seats these are great 
the year before um, electronic ignition there's something every year where you think i want to do that this year that's my project i wouldn't say it's made me any money because at the end of the day the amount of money we spent on it over the years and tax insurance whatever you, but it's like a piggy bank you put it in put it in it's still there the money it hasn't lost any money that's the great thing about it it's been a fantastic piggy bank and a lovely project and great fun we've been to le mans in it yeah. i've been down to dover been to exeter and cornwall right for exeter down into cornwall in it never made new key in this i've just been up to inverness and we've been on the Isle of Skye, we've been all down the East Coast, Cambridge, Lincolnshire, uh, North Yorkshire Moors, through Wales, time and time again Welsh rallies, on Isle Anglesey, taking to Anglesey, on the track at Anglesey, re again, track day, racing around the track, doing 100 miles an hour, 105 miles an hour on the track for me, on Anglesey. Your pride and joy you'd say, and this is a super rare car isn't it? Oh yeah, there's not many about, uh, there are probably about 200 left in the world of this TR5. I would call that very, very rare uh, there's one on the internet at the moment it's not finished it's finishing today it's, at the moment it's a good on one auction. it's on auction site and it's valued about 46 now at the moment so you know uh, it's as good as that uh, but this has got the upgrades for a man who bought it for 1200 pounds <laughs> and done a lot of money obviously yeah, yeah. spent a lot but you've loved it haven't you i loved it eventually and everything i've taken off you want to put back on is in the garage so if you want to put in all the basic stuff you can bolt it back on <laughs> and then you drive it up the road and go what the <laughs> hell have i done <laughs> it'd be the lever arm dampers the old springs and the old exhaust system the old brakes you'd think why am i driving this the engine goes like stink i mean don't get me wrong i would not change the engine at all the reliability is in great performance is good the economy is good and she looks nice there's not many about there's, there's not another in the well there would be one or two in lancashire but there's not another in file 27 years ago there's one fault on it there is one fault if you go down there tom look back this way there's one there's a slight crease can you see it or not i don't think you can this it's there so if you get the light right there's a slight crease in that wing and we just didn't get it right we blocked it and blocked it oh, was just, 27 years ago yeah yeah and it's still there but that's the old Adds character yeah guys dad was super excited after he finished it the weather was amazing but we've been so busy because the weather's been amazing it's going to break tomorrow he wanted to do a little video yeah. on it and this is his pride and joy uh, something that he's worked on yeah. for probably well, over half of his life really absolutely. dad's triumph tr5 for your mother and i we we go out and we really have some good time in this we feel good we feel young again it's well liked well looked after and yes it's probably spent a lot of money on it but she's worth what she's worth she's worth more to me than what i get for it it's one of those things it's to me it's priceless it needs a damn good clean damn good polish and we've a car meet on sunday to go to so hope you enjoyed today's video hope you enjoyed dad having a chat about his classic if you have any questions put it in the comment section below we might do a catch up if there's loads if you want to help tom buy concrete to make his cows <laughs> lives better please go to tom pem dash go to farmlife.co.uk to buy some merch so we can spend it on concrete to buy on our cows i really appreciate it thank you very much for listening everyone but i just love the little old girl she's she's pride and joy for me see you in a bit